in a bid to further curb the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Ondo state government had announced earlier that there will be a test center at the Ondo state-owned specialized university of medicine, Unimed. Speaking on this development, the vice chancellor of the university had this to say. It's not just about human capacity. You also need the equipment. And this equipment are not, are not cheap. Unfortunately, the real time PCR that was needed, we did not have at the beginning. But now, through the work our committee has been doing, and with great support from the, from the, from the governor of this state and his team, we are having two of such machines coming into this state anytime from now. One of them will be in Akure, one of them will be in Nundo. But the capacity in Nundo, in terms of human capacity, is higher. We have specialists here, we have consultants here, we have professors here of that field. So they will be working with the people in Nundo and in Akure. So we train people in Akure, excuse me, and then we, we support them to take up. But let me also add that it's not only about equipment, it's also not about the personnel. You also need the facility in terms of the, fa lab the laboratory. So one of the things we've been talking about the last two, three days is to be sure that that kind of laboratory facility that will ensure that there is safety. When you are testing highly infectious conditions, we need to get them right. So we are working towards that. We're working with the chief medical director of the University of Medical Science Institution Hospital to look at the laboratories again and to look at a place where we can make up the standard. Why dwelling on the past effort of the understate government and the institution at making sure that the pandemic is curtailed to the barest minimum and eventually eradicated in the state, he also noted. Every state must be positioned, must be ready for a public health response. And a very critical part of that is a laboratory. So today, what do we do? We collect samples there. We take them all the way down to Ede in State. That's not ideal, but that's the best we can do today because we do not have those kind of facilities that can enable us to do the testing. And that's not only true for Ondo, that is true for many states in the country. And that's why the rate of testing, in a way, is also slow. So it's only strategic and meaningful for every state to aspire to do that, particularly when you have the capacity in human resources. He noted that the production of nose marks recently embarked upon by the state government was a right step in the right direction and he counseled the residents of the state to abide by all the laid down rules that government had laid out. The, the state government had been extremely responsive in what it's doing, but the state government can win this battle. No, the battle is not with any government. The battle is in the hand of the people. Government can make policy, but it is up to us as people to make sure that that policy works. The first thing the government has said to us is, if you don't need to go anywhere, please stay at home. Stay at home is perhaps the safest measure at this point in time, except you have a reason to go out. Number two, if you go out, avoid crowds. Social distance we must practice. We all must practice hand washing continuously. As you can see, when you are coming in, say a machine, where we had sanitizer, we had hand wash machine, because that is important to what we do. The other thing we must all do is also observe the respiratory hygiene. Cover your mouth when you are coughing, or coughing to your foot and elbow. And actually, the most important at this point in time is mask. When I use mask, I am not protecting myself. I am protecting you. And so if anybody is talking to you without a mask, tell him, don't endanger me. Put on your mask. If you put on a mask, you protect your neighbor. But your neighbor also needs to protect you by putting on a mask. If you all do that together, this disease is one we will be victorious again. It's a challenge, but we welcome this challenge. It will be recalled that a lot had been happening around the Ondo State Metropolis, especially as the cases of COVID-19 had increased in the last few weeks. All of these are challenges that will require a lot of effort from government, stakeholders 
and everyone in the state to finally put this challenge to an end. Maya Walumuywa reporting for Kaftan TV.